Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to this wonderful channel once again, where we we'll bring you the top most of the top news where they happen all over the world. Uh, information reaching us is that the IPOB members has uh, placed another seat at home. They have declared another seat at home. Meanwhile, before I will bring you the full details of this seat at home and the date of the seat at home, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That is the only thing you can do for us. Before you start listening to this, please first hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are sharing news, you will be the first to grab it. Let's go down to the news proper. Before I bring you this news, of course, you know that I'm Soludo, uh, said to the workers in Anambra State that it is either they obey Monday sit at home or that their salary is cut. No, it is either they stop obeying Monday sit at home or that he cuts their salary. And even still on that, Anambra citizens and indigents are still obeying Monday sit at home. Even those uh, occupants in Anambra State are still obeying Monday sit at home. But this one is we happen on this May. This is what IPOB has declared. Let's go down to the news proper so that I will give you the full details and the full information of what the indigenous people of Biafra are saying on the upcoming sit at home. The indigenous people of Biafra declares May 30th compulsory sit at home for Igbos in Lagos, other parts of Nigeria. So, as you can see, a seat at home has been declared for the Igbos in Lagos and not only for the people in Lagos, for those on other parts of Nigeria. So, this includes all states where Igbo people are found in Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra has declared May 30th, 2023 as a day for compulsory seat at home for the Biafra Remembrance Day of Celebration. The group said Biafrans. Someone who hails from Southeast Nigeria must honor those who died in the Civil War and Biafra Nation actualization struggle. IPOB on Monday in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, asked industries, companies, transport companies, air, land and sea, hotels, schools and churches across the Southeast region of Nigeria to shut down in adherence to the order. The group further asks people of the Southeast living in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria to join the sit at home order, warning all the residents of Biafra territory not to endanger their lives on their, or their businesses by disobeying the sit at home order as the directives is from the IPOB leadership. He said, this year's event will be special and the one day sit at home in Biafra land will be total and will be from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on May 30th, 2023. Every economic, social, religious, and political activities in Biafra land will be suspended with the exception of hospitals, doctors, nurses, ambulances, and other health workers. All other people and workplaces are advised to sit at home. Once again, only hospital and health workers are free to open and go about on May 30th, 2023. Biafra Heroes and Heroines Remembrance Day to take care of our ones and the pregnant mothers and all other sectors, including police stations, should be under lock and keys within Biafra territory. We call on industries, companies, transport companies, air, land and sea, hotels, schools and churches to shut down in honor of our heroes and heroines. Also, Biafrans in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria are encouraged to join the sit at home on the day. It is only one day. We therefore advise Biafrans and other residents in Biafra territory to avoid endangering their lives or their business by obeying the sit-at-home order from the IPOB leadership. Wherever our people are or gathered on that day, 
they must pray with lighted candles and must observe three minutes of silence immediately at 12 noon. Finally, the only joy and rest to appease our fallen heroes and heroines in Biafra restoration. So, we must continue. We remember those who died in Nigeria genocidal war against Biafra. The mothers and fathers bombed in the marketplaces, hospitals, churches, and those children that the Nigerian government starved to their early death, we cannot forget them till eternity. We also remember the victims of Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, and Sahara de Desert who died on the way to Europe in an attempt to escape the draconian and the wicked economic political policies against Biafra by the Nigerian state. So wonderful people, as you have heard it, uh, this is what is coming. Uh, the person that is putting up this one uh, is um, uh, Mazi Ema Powerful, uh, who is the media and publicity secretary of the indigenous people of Biafra. He said that 38 May must be a May of a day of memories a day that the Biafra fallen heroes and hero heroines should be remembered. He has advised that um, all businesses, all factories, government sectors be shut down on that day and uh, except uh, hospitals and um, medical workers. So according to what Emma Powerful is saying is that uh, if you are a medical line on that day, maybe a chemist, maybe a hospital, maybe a doctor, a nurse, uh, that day you can uh, put on your regalia that represents who you are and move about your business but other businesses should be shut down and you also advise that people should not endanger their, their lives by disobeying that 30th may sit at home of course you know that um uh, he said that they are doing this thing in order to remember the fallen heroes, the Biafra fallen hero, and if if you look at it, it is not a bad idea, because those people who died during the war, uh, we are somebody's father. Uh, many people lost their grandfather. Many people lost their father. Many people lost. You know, many people were lost during that time. Some people died out of Pashioko because of hunger. Of course, if you know history, you will remember that food supplies. We are cut off from the southeastern part of Nigeria. And if if there were to be food, uh, I don't think that the, the battle would have ended the way it ended. But um, I don't know how, on whose advice uh, General Gowon, then who was the head of state, stood on uh, to stop food supply to from coming to the uh, southeastern part of Nigeria. Uh, that endangered the lives of many people because people were not able, the war lasted about three years and people were not able to go to their farms, you know, do some cultivation and the rest of that. So there was lack of food. There was, a, a, you know, food scarcity as at that time and people began to die and others tried to escape through sea, through, you know, many means and some of them died in the Mediterranean Sea. Some also died in the Sahara Desert. Uh, because of the scorching sun, of course, you know that um, uh, taking through the Sahara Desert is more like um, going into the oven to go and fry yourself. <laughs> uh, you can ask those who are traveling to abroad through road, you find out that um, it is not actually easy uh, to take that part of the Sahara uh, to, if you are finding a way of escape. So many things happened during that time. And there is this song. Uh, that uh, they usually sing Biafra Mama Zuma 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 of course you must have heard that song and on the May 30th I believe that that song will surface again uh, which many people will be singing according to what Emma Powerful said that once it is 12 noon that people will observe three minutes silence and there will be prayer observation with candles uh, where uh, they will be praying that the spirit of the dead will rest in peace and he also said that, yes, he know that this is being done, but the best way to celebrate and honor the foreign, fallen heroes and heroines is by actualizing the Biafra struggle. And I know that uh, every Biafran, every good Biafran is patiently waiting uh, for that wonderful day 
that the flag of Biafra will be lifted up and victory will be for the Biafrans. Meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button, and also remember to own the notification button so that whenever our news go to drop, now you could be the first we'll collect. And God bless you for listening. Thank you.